Hello friends, welcome to Embedded Gate. In this video, I am going to show you how to operate Node MCU in access point mode. At the end of this video, you will see I am sending 8 values from mobile app to ESP8266 and these 8 values I will show you in serial terminal. We know that there are two modes in Node MCU. First one is station mode and second one is access point mode. If you don't know what is the station mode and access point mode, simply we can describe as in station mode, node MCU work as a Wi-Fi and in access point mode, node MCU work as a hotspot. Let's start with the project. I have already write a code and make an app in MIT App Inventor. I will explain all these things one by one. First, I am going to start with the ESP8266 code. Open. Arduino IDE. This is this is our code. Okay, I will explain this code line by line. First one is header file. This is header file for ESP8266. This is Wi-Fi password and this is Wi-Fi ID. When you upload your code, your ESP8266 work as a hotspot. You can easily connect to the network using this SSID and password. I have declared 8 variables here of float type. You will see there are 0 value in each variable. I am going to receive 8 values from mobile app and put those 8 values in these 8 variables. Next one is server. Our server port is 80. Next 8 to 10, 10 lines I have defined here HTML code. This HTML code will accept 8 values and store these 8 values in these 8 variables. Next two variables are used to accepting strings serially. In void setup, I have declared one serial port. This line is used to operate node MCU in access point mode. We have to pass password and SSID. Now next is void loop. I have declared variables to accept the input from the server. If the server data is available, then I am going to read available string and put those string in this variable. This variable is string type. We already declared this string variable at top. Okay, next I have printing this string serially. And next code is to take values from the string and assign to the variables. And same variables I am going to show on serial serially. This is the HTML code I am going to run continuously. You can download this code from video description. Once the code is ready, attach your node and see you to the com port from tools select your node mcu board i have already selected and then select com port and upload the code code is uploaded now next part is to create mobile app to create a mobile app Open your Google browser. Now go to the MIT app inventor. I have already created create app here. What I have done, I have take eight values. First is flow rate, then unit selection, scale factor, linearization, zero scaling, communication reset, and factor reset. To create this field, what I have done. Go to the layout. I will show you the one field, how I create this field. You have to do copy paste for the rest of the seven field. Take a horizontal layout. Place here. Okay, select horizontal layout and select width to fill parent and press OK. Next. Go to the user interface, select label, place label here and 
select text box and place text box next to the label now select label one more time and change width to fill parent and press ok now give any name to your label suppose i will change this label text to embedded this message will appear here now select text box and change width to fill parent press ok and remove this hint part from here this is the one field you have to create like this 8 field one after one I am going to delete this field from here delete when you place all the 8 fields after that you have to place one switch here ok you can press switch using this button parameter you can simply add button like this and you can simply change size from here and make this fill parent you will see button will appear here ok I am going to remove this button, button also after creating this page now go to the connectivity and select web and place here I have already selected web one here now our app is ready we have to make block block diagrams for making the block diagrams select blocks you will see I have already created the connection block diagram to create connection block diagram first select the button you can select button from here now we have to set web1.url this block you will find in web this is the block set web1.url now we have to type this string from text select this block this is the that join box now you will see there are many strings I have attached here ok to expand this string box click here on this setting symbol and you can attach as many as string you want like this ok now next go to the text take a string ok now in this string we have to write this http colon double slash 192.168.4.1 slash this is the home address of ESP8266 next go to the text box 1 and select this text box 1 dot text parameter ok after that one more time take a string empty string and add comma next one more time copy duplicate this text box text box one dot text block and place one after one change here to text box two you have to make changes like this you have to make same arrangement what I have done here at the end of this block you have to call web one dot get you will get this block from web one this is the block and your app is ready I will delete this block you have to make same block as per the mic now next I am going to download this app to download this app go to the build select android apk I 
I'm going to download dot apk file and save this file on desktop. You will see the apk file here. Now move this file from your desktop to your mobile and install this app in your mobile. After installing the app, open Serial Terminal and now send the data from mobile app and you will see the all data here. Let's see the output. First move your .apk file from your laptop to mobile, then install the app. Connect your node MQ to power supply and open Wi Fi. You will see SS flow there. Now enter the password. Password is 12345678 and connect. After connecting to Wi Fi, Open app. Now I am going to assign any value to each variable. Suppose I am going to assign flow range 1, unit selection 2, scale factor 3, linearization 4, zero scaling 5, communication 6, reset 7. Factory reset 8 and press enter switch. After pressing the enter, you are going to say same data on serial terminal. This is the output. Now suppose I am changing unit selection value from 2 to 23 and press enter. You will see the updated result on serial terminal. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.